Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, boxing is a bit of an optical illusion. It looks random, right? It looks like either guy can win a fight, right? It looks like the guy who lands a lucky punch is going to prevail. But you know, it's anything but random. There's a method to the madness. It's one of those rare sports, in my opinion, where the more you watch, the more you see. You know, insiders have figured out technical superiority. They can look and admire a guy who, to the casual fan, might actually look like he's just getting lucky. Now, this fight is a bit racially charged, just judging from the comments here online. But what you need to know is that some pretty prominent trainers... Let's be more specific. Some pretty prominent trainers of Mexican descent are quietly predicting that Floyd Mayweather beats Saul Alvarez. First, one of the world's very best trainers, training legend Nacho Beriste, the trainer of fighters like Juan Manuel Marquez, before him, Daniel Zaragoza, right? Ricardo Lopez. In other words, a former fighter himself who has trained Hall of Famers, who himself is a member of the Boxing Hall of Fame, is quietly predicting that Saul Alvarez won't be able to solve Mayweather's defense and is going to lose the fight. Right? It's excellent reporting by Ellie Setback here on YouTube. He interviewed Nacho Baristain, who gave his frank opinion. Now understand, it's very hard to find an individual who is more in support of Mexican boxers and Mexican fighting, right? The boxing community in Mexico, than Nacho Baristain. But what Nacho sees is Mayweather's technical brilliance. Nacho is focusing on Mayweather's defense. And understand, Mayweather, simply put, is a defensive genius. It looks like he's just lucky slipping punches. He's not. It's by design. This Floyd Mayweather is much better defensively on the inside than the Mayweather who fought Castillo many years ago. Right. Read the comments of Ricky Hatton that were posted on BoxingScene.com a few days ago. Ricky Hatton gets inside on Floyd Mayweather and was simply astonished by Mayweather's defense. Right. Nacho Beristain believes that because of that defense, Mayweather is going to win this fight. Another trainer, Robert Garcia. Right? And understand, Garcia is interesting because Garcia was a world champion fighter. Right? Garcia's nickname, when he was a boxer, was Grandpa. This is when he's in his early 20s because the guy was so technically advanced. Right? Garcia right now is doing a remarkable job with several fighters, chief among them Marcus Maidana, who he has completely remade. Right Now, Robert Garcia, in a July 4th article on BoxingScene.com, predicted that Mayweather was going to win this fight. Right, According to Garcia, Canelo is just not ready for Mayweather at this stage of his career. And let's remember, Mayweather is, excuse me, Canelo is 23 years old. Now here again, Garcia, who has trained Antonio Margarito, 
Fernando Vargas, right? Garcia is certainly a fighter who doesn't have a bias in any way against Mexican boxing. Believes that Floyd Mayweather will simply be too much for Saul Alvarez. Let's go further. <clears throat> One of my favorite trainers. And he has a fighter who I believe would give Mayweather a hard time in Timothy Bradley. Is Joel Diaz. Right now, understand, Joel Diaz, in addition to Timothy Bradley, also trains his brother Julio Diaz, who recently gave Amir Khan all he can handle. Understand, too, Joel Diaz, just like Nacho Beristain and Roberto Garcia, is a former fighter. Right? These are guys who have been in the game and who have seen it for, from many angles, right? training and fighting. Well, Joel Diaz was at the fight Saul Alvarez had against Austin Trout. He was actually sitting with other trainers watching that fight. And let me just say, there's a video here on YouTube where Diaz says that that Austin Trout fight was much closer than the scoring. Let me be more blunt than that. I personally believe Austin Trout won that fight, right? Well, Diaz not only believes that the scoring was wider than the actual fight, but Diaz on record, on film, says that he expects Mayweather to win the fight, right? And so my point to you is simply, Three of the elite trainers in the sport. Elite. These are guys who, in Beristain's case, have trained Hall of Famers. Beristain right now is training a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer, Juan Manuel Marquez. Right? Robert Garcia, who has trained multiple champions. And Joel Diaz, the current trainer of Timothy Bradley all of Mexican descent, all believe Floyd Mayweather is going to win the fight. I believe Joel Diaz even believes, as I do, that Mayweather could well do so by stoppage. Right? And so understand, Mayweather's technical proficiency leaps out at boxing insiders. Right? Mayweather is more than a reputation. He's a talent. Right? And understand, Mayweather is in his mid-30s. He has lived the sport. He's a professor emeritus, really, in terms of his knowledge of the sport. Saul Alvarez, by contrast, is 23. Right? Were he a university student, he would just be entering grad school. Right? Mayweather has already graduated from grad school and is now a member of faculty. Understand, Mayweather runs Mayweather Promotions. He has talented fighters fighting underneath him. Right? Fighters come to the Mayweather gym to train under Mayweather's tutelage to look at what Mayweather's doing at the gym. So the knowledge base, <laughs> I'll just put it to you this way. The knowledge base is wide. The experience base is wide, right? When you think of a blockbuster pay-per-view fight in Las Vegas, Floyd Mayweather's name should be one of the first names you think of. After all, the record they're trying to beat for pay-per-view buys is actually a record set by a different Mayweather fight, right? Understand Mayweather has fought elite level competition, right? Mayweather has already beaten Juan Manuel Marquez, for example, right? Mayweather has been on the biggest stage. Now Saul Alvarez may have fought Austin Trout before a lot of people in San Antonio this is a different ball of wax, isn't it? And I know Saul Alvarez has fought on Mayweather undercards, 
it's different being in the main event. Also, just in terms of hand speed and stamina, right? Just the physical tools that the guys have to work with. Let's just say that Mayweather has the faster hand speed, has the better stamina, right? And so, just understand that insiders know who Mayweather is and that Nacho Beristain, Robert Garcia, and Joel Diaz are all expecting Mayweather to win this fight. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And uh, if you know of a superstar trainer, who believes that Saul Alvarez is going to win this fight, I hope you leave that information in the comment section so gamblers can get a balanced view of what's going on here. Okay, thanks for stopping by.